these are some dried fruits like these are strawberries blueberries these are dried we can buy them separately as well i got this mix ready made i got it as a paradise mix so it's easy for me you can do either way do little preparation while making this traditional print you have to soak this uh, dried fruits for about 24 hours you can soak them in pineapple juice or you can so soak them in water i have already soaked it for you till i have soaked this this is a very important step to extract flavors from all the fruits now they have become soft and they will give nice flavor to the cake add this melted butter and brown sugar together this butter is not hot it's at room temperature but just in a liquid consistency so that sugar get mix with it properly now we add in this egg is light and fluffy now let's set all the dry ingredients together in this mixture let's mix all this dry ingredient together first it's baking soda cinnamon powder and salt mix them together nicely now we are going to set this mixture in the egg mixture. I have taken a little mixture of this uh, all purpose flour. And I am going to fold it with this egg mixture. Along with that, I'm going to add a little milk in this. About one tablespoon of milk I'll add first. Then little molasses. Again, the second batch of flour. Hold it. One tablespoon of molasses. gives nice fruity flavor to this cake one tablespoon of milk all the ingredients should be at room temperature again the last batch of flour now about 3 tablespoons of molasses and little milk and about 
3 tablespoons of milk also I have used. Now finally, we are going to add this soaked fruits and dry fruits in this. I have soaked them in pineapple juice. If you don't have pineapple juice, you can soak them in water. But if you soak them in pineapple juice, it will give nice flavoring. And this is a traditional method of making this cake. So lots of richness in the cake. Richness of fruits, dry fruits, and flavors of this fruit juices. Everything is amazing. And this almond and cashew nut pieces, I'm going to add now. This is a very rich cake. And now the batter is ready. Now it is going in the baking tray. Use this spray on the baking tray. This spray will this spray will help us remove the cake easily from the baking tray. Now I'm going to add this batter. As our oven is preheating at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes, now I'm going to bake this cake for about 20 minutes. Just give it a check. Let it cool down, then we'll take it out from the cake. The cake is cold. Let's take it out. Now let's cut the cake. Let's check the piece. It's very soft. See the fruits inside. 